everyone back to my channel. Before we move forward, let me encourage you to click that subscribe button and hit the like at the end of the video. Here we are. This is the new piece of equipment for the homestead. So I'm going to take you around today for a tour. Been here for about four days. So I'm going to take you around for a tour at this point and uh, show you what's been done in the last four days. Let's go. I'm actually going to start out to show you the biggest accomplishment for the last four days since we put first feet on the homestead here. Like I said, this road is a week old. So after they finish the road, a couple days pass. This is the first four days on it. So the first thing that was noticed when it got on the land and the RV was planted here, I thought, I so should have got the RV put closer to the lake because you couldn't even see the lake. You can right now, but guys, if you look to my left and to my right, you will see massive amounts of tree stumps. You see this spot right behind me here? This is where the brush got burnt. So right here, there's the logs and this is not even all of them. So this is what was cut down and as you see it's all delimbed that took about five hours yesterday i kid you not it was about a five hour process but the result it looks like right now actually the lakefront the lakefront is right here so if we were to see but we won't see anybody going by in a kayak or any kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Any kind of kayak or any kind of little boat, motorboat or whatever going by, I could see it, but you're not gonna see it here because, and I'll show you in a second, and it's been shown in a previous video, there's not a cabin or a house in sight from the front of the 200 foot lakefront. So, Come with me and I'll show you the pathway to the lakefront. No hunting! Right here, I've got a, what are these called? Ah, late night, busy day yesterday. Right here, I've got a water tote. So what happens here, guys, is about halfway down the path, the tractor would drop the water tote and water gets pumped into the water tote and then to the RV for dishes and shower. Definitely not for drinking. The lake is good water, but not for drinking. So for dishes and showers, gonna like it. This is what this is for. It's here for now. And guys, the other thing that I took the day before actually, now I'm thinking about it, yesterday it was just clearing so you could see the lake, but the day before that and my wrist and my hand is so sore I could barely open the bathroom door. So if you see all of these limbs here, this is what I was cutting as far as I could reach, like this right here, with the reciprocating saw, hence why my hand is so sore. But all the trees as far as I could reach is all delimbed so you can see right through to the lake. Another thing guys I want to mention, you see anything with leaves, which is the hardwood, these are all staying. If you look through even to the direction of the RV, none of the, har none of the hardwood is going. So those are all saying, I love the colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you look all the way through, the, and look at this rock right here with the tractor. The tractor did an amazing job. I gotta say with the big rocks, it was very bumpy and lots of dips, but look at it now, it looks very level. This worked out beautifully. And as you can see, <laughs> the pups here, especially Charlie, they love the homestead. 
So come with me to the front of the lake. Wow, and also what's amazing, what I liked about the last spot where the cabin is, is the trees all changing colors around the lake. Guys, we got it here. All, there's lots of hardwood around and in sight to show the fall colors, which I love and truly is my favorite season. Little Charlie getting a drink of water from the lake. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come, 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 come. Come here, Gilly. Come. She's the cleverest one. She knows how to get around, hop all over the place, and loves to follow. Charlie, come. She's a little unsure. It takes a minute, but usually, usually she figures it out. I gotta say, first of all, I need to get a hoodie because it's really, really cold. It's a, it's definitely a fall day. So right here, got about. 20, uh, sorry, 48 feet of the Costco lights. These are very low energy, which is great for the generator. So this is one set. They're laying on the ground at this point, but I need to get another set. I need to light up this pathway to the front of the lake. Guys, do you see this tree? Come get a look. Once there's a mill on the homestead, this tree will be coming down. Can you imagine, and with the cost of wood nowadays, but even if it wasn't, how much wood two by eights and two by tens and four by fours is in this tree? This tree is ginormous. And so it didn't get cut down yesterday. This one's staying for a little while, but it's gonna be put to good use, no doubt. And right here, the side by side is here because realistically you want to keep it out of the elements and it's a good shelter pretty much right under the tree from where right from just right off the property just a few feet and uh yeah keeps it out of the elements and the sun mostly the sun because the sun will warp and eventually rip and but yeah basically warp the seat so that's why it's parked there so the cabin sign is now to the homestead it's not really a cabin but i still like it it was a gift so i'm gonna keep it there guys you see my burning bushes one of my first videos i'll link it here for you to watch was i planted my favorite plant at the house so I had to get a few burning bushes here but realistically the idea I was thinking every 20 feet at right to the end of the kilometer driveway was to put burning bush year by year just have more and more and more but I think as you get down around the corner of the road here we've got a lot of red maple trees and brush coming up so I think I'll skip that but where the gate is and the entrance of the homestead where the massive gate is put up, I'm gonna put a couple there. Let's go to the trail. I'm gonna take you in the trail here shortly. So there's three ATV trails around the property. One is behind the RV, the other one's on the left side of the RV, and this is the next one. Let's go and take a look on how I've blocked the AVD, ATV trails on the property, which is our center right here where the RV is. So let's go. And also, realistically, if you want to keep people off your property, this is a great idea. So I've got a sign on the gate, private drive, blah, 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 no trespassing. Cameras are set up. And right here, as you can see, the RV is directly this way. So if anybody comes along this trail, there's a sign that says no hunting and private drive. If they decide to come past the block, that I've put up in the trail here. So let me show you 
how I block the trail. And I gotta say, realistically, they do not wander off anywhere. They follow me wherever I go. I love it. Gotta like it. Puppies, come. Come. You see it, guys. This is what was knocked down. And the brush is so thick there and on this side, there's no way anybody and even to bring a chainsaw and try to get through this someone's up to no good this is definitely something that's going to deter anybody from continuing on and going on the property that was just purchased so look at that tree though that is a massive tree come on puppies come <laughs> come here puppies hey puppies there they go Come on, puppies. Come, come. All right, now I know. I know what some of you are thinking. How are you going to tour around on the trails with them blocked like this? So, within the next month or so, what's going to happen is the metal gate that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. I'm going to cut those in half and put half size gates along here with the chain, no trespassing signs, all of that good stuff. So that's what's gonna go here. So, so then I have easy access to the trails and uh, put up the signs and that should take care of that. But guys, I gotta say something right now. There's a surprise coming at the end of the video. You gotta stay tuned for the surprise. It is crazy and I was a little freaked out I gotta say but I'll show you that stay tuned to the end Well, here we are guys. So if you look at my signs here, well, this is, first of all, this is the recyclable metal that was found just in the business park of where I live. The guys came out, asked the guys if I could have one. They had a dozen. They said, you can take them all. So what a great find that is. What a great find. As I mentioned earlier today, I had mentioned that what I'm going to do, first of all, this needs to be lifted up a little bit more. It's a little falling a little to the ground. So what I need to do is take off the hinges that was put on at the, on the gate there and lift them higher because it seems to be leaning a bit here, but that'll be the next visit to the homestead. And another thing I'd like to mention here with the uh, gate, the sign over here, we've got private drive and this one says posted, no trespassing, keep out. So the other thing, like I had mentioned as well, is cameras, gotta keep it safe guys, because you know what? Kids nowadays, they just like to tour around on their bikes and some of them aren't so nice, definitely. And they're in every city, guaranteed. So I'm going to try to deter anybody, which is why this gate is here and the signs and the lock and chain from going anywhere. So the thing I was telling you to wait for at the end of the video, which like I said, freaked me out a little, but after doing some research, we had the night before, the night before I arrived here on the spy cam, there was a big black bear. So I'll post that right here and show you the video on my camera that picked up the black bear. Wow, but like I said, after doing some research, they're not known to attack. Grizzly bears on the other hand are definitely, uh, grizzly bears on the other end are, totally different story but uh, on that note like I said click subscribe to my channel hit the like if you stayed this long and I'll see you in the next video bye for now